right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. So today is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I came back and I tried to edit this video. Come to find out, we were having some problems with the audio, so I do apologize about that. So today what we're gonna do is just do a voiceover, that's right. So today we are here in the city of Henderson in the master plan community, Sun City Anthem. For you guys don't know about Sun City Anthem, it is an age-restricted community that is located on the southwest side of the city of Henderson, just east of the 15, nestled between Seven Hills and also in Sparata. Now, this home that we are going to be featuring today is a single-story home that features 1,102 square feet, two bedrooms, two baths. This home was built in 2002. Now, the full asking price on this home, the sellers are asking $625,000 at $562 a square feet. Now, this home has been completely renovated and gutted in and out. As you can see, we do have cameras in front of the two-car garage and right above the beam as we walk to the front door, we also have a ring doorbell too as well, and a push pad key entry. Now as we enter the property, as you can see, we do have the 12 by 24 tiles. Now what's also unique about this property is that whoever f was rehabbing this property literally gutted this home and put a lot of money into this home. Number one, all the windows have been replaced. Now the, the windows, that have been replaced, these are actually vinyl windows. Now with the vinyl windows, okay, you gotta understand, once you take this out, you also gotta do the texture of the drywall, and also you gotta redo the texture on the exterior on the stucco too as well. Now this one is actually a two-tone paint with six inch crown with a nine foot ceiling height. The floors are 12 by 24 on the tile with a six inch stagger. As you can see, we do have a linear fireplace here. Now, I believe on the linear fireplace is a 60-inch linear fireplace. Now, the wall has been cladded with tile-like wood or wood-like tile. They did a very good job on here. This home is very clean in the Mac and attention to detail. As you can see, there are sluters as well. Uh, you have the chrome sluters with the 65-inch TV. One thing that you're going to notice is that the TV is pretty much in every single room. And I believe the TV will come with the sale of this transaction. Now coming into the guest bedroom, as you can see, we do have some wood floors. These are solid wood floors now, tongue and groove. You have your standard six inches on the baseboards. Again, plantation shutters. As you can see in this bedroom, we do have a feature wall. And four can lighting with the ceiling fan. Now these are LED lights with the crown. Now. Here we have a closet for your guests. It's your little bit coat closet, looks like. Now we have a six panel door. It's not insulated. However, these are brand new doors. Now take a look at this bathroom for the guests. We do have a floating vanity. It has a total of 36 inches on the vanity. We have a cast iron sink. And take a look at this lit up mirror. This is very nice. Now with the lit, the lit up mirror here, you have two options. You have the daylight and you also have the soft white on it as well. As you can see, we just passed the skylight. Now they did uh, rehab this whole bathroom. Originally a tub should have been here, but as you can see, we have a linear drain and uh, we have a vertical set. Now coming into the garage, one thing I noticed about the garage is that we have a, a epoxy throughout. This is a two car garage. And also, on this one, what I've noticed is that they took out the water heater and put a tankless water heater. So that was an upgrade. They epoxied the floors, completely brand new. They also painted the garage, textured the garage, and you also have baseboards. Now, a cool thing about this one is that right in front of me, you do have a little car wash for the dog. So if you have pets, this is something that... Uh, you know, you could definitely, you know, wash your little poodle. I guess a lot of um, 
elderly or older people have you know pets so i think this would be great now in front of me we have a double stack front load lg and appliances are included of the sale of this transaction one thing i didn't uh, mention was that the annual taxes on this property is one thousand five hundred and ninety five dollars now you do have an hoa now with the hoa it comes with the clubhouse and you have the pool the billiards room there's so much that this community has to offer now the fees are going to be 301 dollars every single quarter so that's not bad but now i want to get into the kitchen here now with the kitchen here they did a peninsula island with a three inch front face nice quartz countertop so they did a really good job and in front of the cabinets as you can see they cladded it with the quartz now you also have this front apron as well and you have your pull out trash bin now the style in here these are not the shaker cabinets but they i thought they were the the originals but these are all new cabinets with that gray tone and as you can see we have the viking appliances as well coming back to the front apron as you can see this is nice and beautiful i mean they spared no expenses on this flip here's the dishwasher here's the microwave as you can see we have some nice uh, some cabinetry and also the backsplash on this one was gorgeous and also this pot filler so that's something that they had to do when they framed this out as you can see we have the double stack the viking again and we have our pull out pot drawers now these are also soft closing cabinets they did a really good job but one thing i do like about this is that they actually did the built-in viking refrigerator and you do have that extra storage for your pantry okay right now i'm just pointing up to the led lights here there's actually two colors on the led lights you do have the daylight and also the soft white too as well as you can see we opened up the refrigerator it's brand new now one thing about this is i noticed that they were actually missing some shelves but i think the shelves are actually in the garage so that's something that you're going to have to add on Again, we have plantation shutters. We're gonna come through this door here. And I do like the electronic lock for the back. Now, because this home is within a age-restricted community, as you can see, the retaining walls are completely open and fenced. That is just the lifestyle out here. In addition to that, if you would like a retaining wall, you can definitely ask the HOA. Now, one thing that I was actually pointing out here is that if we take a look there's literally cameras throughout the home it's really nice you got one above there too as well take you off to the side now this home is actually facing uh, south so your sun exposure on this home is going to be in the front of the home not in the back of the home so um right now i'm just closing the door and we're going to take a walk we're going to go take a look at the primary uh bedroom now, before I hit the primary bedroom, if you notice, we have the Nest thermostat, and right above us, we have the return filter. I think these are the uh, 20 by 20s, and there's actually two of them, okay? There's the uh, Nest. Now, coming into the primary. Now, with the primary bedroom, it states here it's 16 by 14 wide. Again, you can see the cladding on top of the feature wall, which is really nice with that wood light. And again, you walk in, with that hardwood that matches the other bedroom with the six inch baseboards again we do have that tv too as well love the colors on here now coming into the bathroom okay well i guess i'm going to give you a little bit in look around here for a second here all right so now let's head into the bathroom again with the bathroom as you can see we do have the floating vanity and take a look at the linear set or the vertical set with the 12 by 24 on the tile we also have the skylight too as well the two soap box as you can see all the hardware is all that brush nickel coming into the custom closet so again there was no um spared expenses on this flip now if we take a look again we have that linear drainage and just the quality of work on here the video does not justify the way it looks there are some homes that i go into on a flip property it looks great on camera next thing you know it you come to find out it does not look the way it looks now i do like that backlit 
on that mirror. A lot of flippers are starting to do that now too as well, so I think that's the cool thing. Now guys, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to visit lvhomeexperts.com. It is a great website to get started. Other than that, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. My name is Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, and if you like this video, let us know. Other than that, be blessed, folks. Did you like that video home tour? Are you a fan of this channel and you wanna get plugged into the real estate market? Well, I got something for you. We have a new channel, real estate, vlogs, Las Vegas lifestyle, behind the scenes, financing, flipping, commercial properties, interviews, local businesses, Chuckett's Crusoe 2.0, check it out.